Hi, I'm Batman, and I'm a red blood cell. For months, I take the same boring journey to give oxygen and glucose to the city's body parts. But where does my story be begin? My story begins in the red bone marrow found inside your bones. The plan is to send in the oxygen and glucose to the city's body parts and take their carbon dioxide and other waste for their safety. Glucose is a sugar found in the body that is produced by the digestive system. How do I do that? I travel through the arteries and veins by flowing through plasma, aka my Batmobile. Plasma is made up of 90% water and 10% dissolved materials. We start in the right atrium of the heart. Phase 1, deliver the carbon dioxide to the lungs to exhale it out. All the other waste will either face the same fate or be dropped off at a different parts of the body on the way to the lungs. I push through the tripiscus valve with my many million friends, including the white blood cells and platelets. The white blood cells are the city's army. They fight the disease that comes and attacks the inside. Platelets are the city's cops. They come and seal up the external wounds. I enter the right ventricle. I catch a glimpse of the thick layer right in between the right and left ventricles, the septum, or as I call it, the big wall. My journey takes about 60 seconds to finish, so I have no time to waste. I quickly run through the pulmonary valve and find myself in the pulmonary artery. Now my mission is halfway done. I travel into the lungs capillary the carbon and drop dioxide off that I had in my pocket. Now the diffusion process occurs. Diffusion is where molecules go from being in a higher concentration to a lower concentration. So then the carbon dioxide diffuses from me and oxygen and glucose takes its place. I exit the lungs capillaries and find myself inside the pulmonary vein. I end up in the left atrium of the heart. I push through the mitral valve and end up in the left ventricle and slide through the aortic valve and then I'll find myself in the aorta on the way to the body's capillaries. Then the diffusion process occurs again and the oxygen and glucose are replaced by carbon dioxide and other wastes that the body produced. Then I take the CO2 to your superior vena cava or the inferior vena cava depending on where I am in the body and then to the past, to where it all started the right atrium.